Alright, today we got the summit. Today I'm gonna take the differentials apart, just grease them, make sure everything looks good. Just put a new steering servo gears in my other summit because I burned that out on the carpet last night. So, here we go. Okay, first thing we're gonna do. We're going to take the three screws off the back body mount. And there's two for the rear bumper. Right there where the wire harness is. It's easier just to pop that off. Unscrew this, I mean. And then uh, I just put it back on for now. So that I can keep track of it. The two long ones are for the bumper. That's for the mount for myself. It's hard doing this one handed. Just slides out over those pins. Now we're going to flip it over, take the skid plate off. Here we go. We only got four screws. I'm going to take those out and we'll meet back up. Alright, let's peel this up. This is also on pins. Alright. So now we got to take off these. I think they're called chamber bars. From, from the inside. Before I do the chamber bars, these are the four screws out of the cover on the bottom, skid plate cover. I'm trying to get a cool shot right now. How's it working out for me? Okay, these two screws are a little bit longer. That's what gives you the can the toe in the rear. So, and it smells good because I'm doing this on a full thing of coffee. All right, on to the next step. Okay, we're gonna take apart or we're gonna take off the center skid cover now. Two, four, six, eight bolts I believe okay there's the eight screws for the center cover Let's see how this pops off might have to get that center piece in the front yep I'm gonna take that front piece off to get that out all I had to do is take the this first screw out of the front skid plate the long one so that's all I had to do okay now we're pulling these pins out all right so there's two in the front and then two in the back right here they can easily be easily be pulled out with some players so it's not bad Alright, now we're gonna get everything situated here. Now we're gonna take the screw out of the drive shaft so we can slide them off. A little rusty, but that's okay. The best tool when you have an RC car. A good pair of tweezers. So I dropped that screw. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, these are out of the rear drive shaft. After you get those out, it's just one. It just pops right off like that. 
All right, now I'm gonna take off. We gotta take off this screw here, holding connected to that bar. We have to take off on both sides the screw holding on the shock piece and uh, and also this the two screws that are uh, holding that shock on it's also those screws for the for the mount so those gotta come out too this piece right here for the locker that screw is gonna have to come out Okay, I did. I took those screws out and I took the shocks off. Alright, so here we got the naked summit. I shouldn't have to take the drive shaft out yet, so let's see if it could come out easy. I can't see what the shit. Came off easy. It's totally dirty. Use the drive shaft to help guide the axles out. And there we go. I'm gonna clean this stuff up, come back, take a closer look. Alright, just cleaned it up. Seems to roll pretty easy. The bearings still look decent. I'm gonna clean them out a little bit better. I'm gonna open it up. There's six screws all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, it's like a treasure chest. Let's see what's in here. Hell yeah. That's not bad. This has been totally underwater a bunch of times. I'm going to pack some grease in it and send it. Here's the lockers. I probably shouldn't touch it, but. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Cases look okay. Doesn't smell burnt. There's a bearing I'm gonna clean up. Alright, here I go. Alright, I'm gonna close it back up now. Um, I took my RC car apart. Can somebody help me put it back together? 